Hello guys, once again welcome to the channel Raul Automation Studio. So in this video, I am going to explain you one kind of pop-up that is JavaScript pop-up. So how you can handle a JavaScript pop-up. So many times while automating an application, automating the test case, you have seen different JavaScript pop-up is coming for you. So it can be either a confirmation message or it can be an informative message or it can be some error message that is displaying as a java pop-up so how you can handle those java pop-up basically so let's start creating a one class so we will be creating one new class in it so just create a java class with the name of java script pop right guys so we will be adding the string main method also in that the string from penis so we can write our code in this particular I have already have the code to launch a Chrome browser. So let's add that particular code. So this is the code that to launch a Chrome browser. So we can add it. Right. Okay. So after that, I will be loading one URL, which is having the JavaScript pop-up where I will show you that. So add that particular URL in it. So the URL is basically for the example. So let's let's run this and open that particular pop-up and then I will be writing the code how you can handle the JavaScript pop-up. And I will show you what exactly I'm saying the JavaScript pop-up. So this is the URL for the JavaScript and once you click on this, click on JS alert. So you can see this is a message. This is a pop-up basically coming. So it is a JavaScript pop-up basically and we have to handle it. So it can be particular message like information, I am a JavaScript alert, or are you sure you want to continue on that? So that kind of information, warning message, it will be displayed and you have to click on accept, okay, like that. And then you can proceed on it. So in that case, we will be doing the maximization also. So let's do the maximization of the browser as well. Manage dot window dot maximize. So we will maximize the browser also. So guys, so what we have to do for it actually. So first of all, we have to click on this JavaScript alert button. Let's inspect this element and we will locate and then we'll click on it. So guys, it is very easy you can locate just click on it you can see this is a button and this text is this so you can write down an x path for it how you will write the x path so double slash we will be finding a relative x path for it and it is a button tag so write it button and in this care bracket write down as a text text is a method so we will be getting the text for this particular tag button tag and we will compare it with the text so like this so it is a x path for you let's do the copy of this x path and how you can write to click on it driver dot find element by dot x path as we are using x path and write down the x path for it so on this locator we are going to click on it right guys let's add a few seconds of wait so that you can see properly like we will be adding three seconds of it so that you can see it is not uh, i mean executing fast so just add that throws declaration in it now once you will click on this particular button you will get a javascript pop-up so how you can uh, handle it so this is a text message so you can get this particular text message and accordingly, you can compare in your test case for the validation that this message warning is coming correct or not. So how you can get a text from the JavaScript pop-up? So to get a text from it, first of all, you have to switch on the JavaScript pop-up. So how you can switch on it? So you can switch on driver dot switch to dot alert method is there so with the type with the help of alert method you can switch on this particular javascript pop-up javascript alert so we will be creating a one object that is 
alert object right guys so we will store in it and alert we will be importing it from the jar selenium file so we have created object for this alert with the help of this object we can perform different operations so right guys so here there is a method that is get text with the help of this get text message we will get the pop up message so we will be printing it so write down system dot out dot println right guys println so just write it down alert right guys and just close this so we are printing what exactly the error message is coming and we can also verify it, like if it is coming that proper or not so based on that you can fail and pass your test case so basically like you can always what you can do like if you can put as a if a lot dot get text get this particular text for me dot equal equal ignore case if it is equal to what it is equal to so basically we see this is a text message and that we want to verify it is coming correct or not if it is equal to this write down like system dot out you can basically add here validation like what validation you want to write down so i will write like validation passed like that message you can also write down so this is the way that you can get a text from it and there is ok button is coming right so how you will click on this ok until you will not click this ok button you will not be able to proceed further in your test case so you have to click on ok button so to click on ok button you have to write down alert dot accept accept method is there by which it will click on ok right guys so let's try to run this test case run as a java application so it will load this particular url which is containing the javascript example guys you can also use this url and you can also try and practice so you can see guys it has clicked on ok button or need and let's see what is giving to us so in the get text it is giving i am a gs alert and that was the exact i am a gs alert this was the message that it was displaying and with the help of get text method you will get it and after that i am comparing is my validation or error message or warning message is coming correct or not so i have verified and it is saying validation is passed so based on that you can pass and fail your mess test case as well right guys and after that it is clicking on accept ok button right so it is clicking here verifying the message get the message and then like clicking on ok like that so next we will be see some other method as well like we will be clicking on this gs confirm so suppose there is a message and there is a warning that someone maybe want to click on ok and someone will be want to click on cancel so in that pop up you can see it is there are two buttons one button is for ok another button is for the cancel so how you can click on cancel button of a javascript pop up right guys so first of all we have to click on this uh, button so let's inspect this button first of all so we can inspect just close this pop up and you know inspect this button so this is the same one just the message is different js confirm so what i will do i will just copy paste i will just change it not an issue so oh, confirm message is there so our xpath is changed now confirm right it will give three second alert we are switching on the alert after switching on alert we will get the message as a message is same right so message is i am a js confirm right so where this is same i will just comment out this line and this time i will show you how you can click on cancel button so to click on a cancel button you have to use a method dismiss 
So dismiss method you have to use if you want to click on a cancel button for the JavaScript alert. Right guys? So let's try to execute it and run as a Java application. So I have shown you three methods like how you can get the text of a JavaScript pop-up, how you can click on OK button, and this one is how you can click on a cancel button. So cancel button, uh, for that you have to use a dismiss method of the alert class. So message is displayed and it should click on cancel and the message you can also see it is clicked on cancel. So it has clicked and verification is also done for us, right guys? Yeah. See he, here message is coming different. This is confirmed and we are validating with alert. So that's why it is not printed the validation in this case, right guys? So this is a dismiss method. And one more method is there guys that uh, sometimes we have to use, but it's really we get used so this text box also it can be appear sometimes uh, in the javascript if you want to enter some kind of text in it like something rahul automation studio and you have to enter the value and then you want to click on ok so that will also you can happen and it will show that you have entered this value for you right so if you want to enter this value some value in that particular text box okay javascript alert for that guys, they have given one method that is alert dot send keys. You can see send keys. Send keys is the method that you can use for it, right? Right guys, like that. You can use it if you want to send some keys in it. But this is the alert message, right guys? So that you can try and you can execute, that's not an issue. So by this, you can handle JavaScript. Let's see if there are some any other method that uh, they have given there. So except we have already discussed, discuss, dismiss also we have discussed, right? Get text also we have discussed and send keys also. To string is basically Java method if you want to convert to a string values, wait and also no other method is there. So all the JavaScript alert methods are covered in it. So guys, you can always use it. So, and you can see how you can handle and you can practice it and use this particular example for the JavaScript alert and try as much as practice you can do guys. So that's it guys in this video and please like, share and subscribe to my channel and share with your colleagues and friends. If you like, please comment on my videos, like on my videos. Thanks to everyone. Thanks for your time.